Well, I had a very good time at woodwork during this week and I'm looking forward to helping you put the other end of the bookends together. Remember that the other end looks like the town of Mercy Falls where the drama took place. So we're going to build up the second end which is going to look like this when we're finished. So let me say to you that I'd like you to find four pieces. One like this and one like this. Now the first thing that we're going to do is to make the little veranda at the front. You should have two pieces with notches in them like this. We want to take first of all the long piece and the long piece is the one that goes on this piece here, on this building here. So we join the long piece like that. Um, I glued one together earlier. The grooves are going to be on the outside and it should look like that. So that's the first thing. Maybe if you've done that, you could put that in a place where it's not going to um, be damaged, be knocked. And we do take the short piece and we put the short piece on this end, the jail end of the other building. So we glue this one with the grooves outside uh, like that. Now, when you've done that, you should have, you will, you will have two pieces that can stand up. There's one like this, and there's one like this. The next thing we're going to do is in these small grooves, there are four posts. You should have four posts like this. They may be a little bit tight, and if they are, just remember a little bit of sanding. Just put your, you may just, if it's a little bit tight, just put it on the sandpaper and rub like this, and they should fit like this. So we end, so we have two like that, and we have two like this. Now, they need just a little, when you fit them together, they probably need just a spot of glue um, so that they will sit in place nicely. We now, we can put that aside for a moment and we have two other pieces, the same as the ones with notches in them, but these are plain, they've got no notch in them. The long one needs a piece like this, which won't run all the way along, but the shape is important. The one that's this shape goes onto the long one like this and the one that's shorter goes on the short piece so there is the short piece and we glue the short piece we glue the one on the short piece like this so I've done two of them as well here is the, here is the 
um, the long piece and here's the shorter piece. We're almost ready to put them together but before we do we're going to you'll notice that there are a number of windows and doors there are as a matter of fact there are one two three big windows in this one and there are one two big windows in this one the you should have among your pieces a large number of pieces like this these go at the bottom of each window I'll just do one quickly for you you put the this short piece goes at the bottom of the window opening like that and the other part of the window frame is this shape. You may find that they are a little bit rough and need to be sanded carefully and need some rough edges taken off or to be sanded carefully. Uh, when you've done that, you just need to put about four little spots of glue And we glue that over the hole, which is at the back. Now, altogether, there are five windows. Uh, four, uh, yes, there are, uh, there are five windows. So we need to do these two, this one here, and the two in the front of the bank. When we've done that, we need some door frames because you'll notice that at the front of the bank and on this building here, there is a big door. So once again, it doesn't need much, just a couple of spots of glue. And it sits over the hole in the hole where the door is um, it just makes it look a little bit better model makers are always making things um, go using little bits of stuff just to make things look a bit bit more like the real thing this particular door here not the bank one but the one in this building is the saloon door and it has these double short double doors and we're going to simply put a spot of glue behind them and we're going to glue that like that so that the saloon doors look something like that they're up toward the they're toward the top of the door uh, there's a space underneath and it's good if there's a line down the middle because they are two separate doors. Another thing that we can do, if you are able to get, you remember the toothpicks we were using yesterday? Well, outside the bank, outside, outside the jail, there is a window at the very end. If you could stick maybe two of these um, oh, just a tiny little bit of glue on each one and we can stick them there because this is the jail door the jail window and people inside the jail can look out and see the town but they can't get out because the bars are there keeping them in. So we should have um, five windows, two doors on, on these pieces. Now comes a time when we can begin to join them together. We begin by 
the bookend piece that you have should be on your left hand side and when you look at the end of it you should be able to see the two screws so we need that piece on the left the first thing we're going to do is to put the bank in place I would just simply put a bit of glue once again it doesn't need much just down the middle and maybe a little bit toward the bottom of the back and, and the bank will be able to sit in place like that and when the bank is in place so the bank really has to go in place first when the bank is in place then we can begin to put the rest of the building together um, Again, we put just a tiny bit, of, we put glue down there and we should be able to slide, to slide this into place like that. Now, I need to pop this post in. Now earlier, we made up two pieces like this. This one is the bank one. You might like um, to make your own little bank sign that fits in there, maybe with colored pencils or texture or something. Um, and that has bank on the top of it. And what we do, is we put a little bit of glue on the back of this and a spot on top of each post and we slide that into place because of the glue the glue will help to stick it in hold it in place so it should sit there nicely and this one uh, need we do something similar we put a little bit on the posts and we run some down the back like that We slide them in while well, we can still move them all around we can slide it in and there it will sit now it's a good idea to make sure that nothing hits it nothing all nothing bumps this so that the so that things move because it's roundabout in the right place and you can see it's looking something like a town but this town is full of people. I think one of the simplest things to do is we need to make a horse trough. Everybody's got a horse, everybody comes to town, everybody's horse needs to drink after bringing them all the way to town. So over here we place the horse trough so the horse can drink. If you look underneath your horse you'll probably find there's a little hole I put that little hole there for a toothpick to fit in, in just to help us get the horse in place and it makes a stronger joint you can just put glue on his feet and put him in place and make sure he doesn't get bumped and that will be quite okay if you've got someone though who can drill you a tiny little hole in the bottom here where the horse goes then um, that will help the horse to stick there so we will put the horse over here um, just to show you 
that you don't really need, you don't, you, that it is quite possible to stick things without having a, a, a toothpick underneath. I'm going to put a couple of spots of glue at the bottom of this bank robber. He's just about to walk into the bank and we pop him down like that. So you can see, ooh, you can see that he's standing there. And if you've got an Indian, you can do two things. If you've got an Indian um, and somebody to drill you a hole, one way of putting an Indian in place would be just to put a spot of glue on the end of the toothpick. And here is the Indian. The Indians, remember, are very upset that the white people have come and taken their hunting ground and made it town. So here he is um, jumping up and down with his tomahawk in his hand. Or if you don't have someone to drill you a hole, as long as you can put your Indians or horses in a place that where they won't be bumped so they can just sit for around about half an hour, they will stick quite well. So that is the way in which the... If you've got Indians left over, you can put maybe even some on the roof. Imagine how frightening that would be if you were in the hotel or in the bank. Or you might even like to put them near the train at the front, um, uh, like we, we did um, yesterday. So that's what it should look like when it's finished. This is the one that I did ages ago. I've got two Indians, notice one of mine's up on the roof. Um, but uh, if you but if you work at this, if you, if you put each piece together fairly carefully, I think you'll find this a very pleasant reminder of the time you spent at Winterfest and a reminder of the drama at Mercy Falls and of the important things we learned from the drama um, then. And I hope you have a great deal of fun in putting your bookends together and finishing them and I hope that you enjoy them. Thank you very much. I did enjoy being at Winterfest this year. And I hope that maybe we might even meet again to do some stuff like this. Thank you.